Ho provato spesso un incontenibile desiderio di dare una nuova definizione di musica, di dire almeno qualcosa di diverso, di mio, su questa nobile arte a cui debbo un'infinità di ore felici. La musica è per me un bisogno, come quello dell'amore, ed è anche e soprattutto il mio destino. Un destino che ho sempre sognato di dividere con voi. Ed ora il sogno è divenuto realtà. Grazie di essere qui. Andrea Bocelli Welcome to the YTL Concert of Celebration 2010 with Andrea Bocelli. We will not only be taking a musical journey into the world of YTL and exploring their relationship with Singapore and its people, we will also be indulging in an evening of classical delights, a beautiful concert free to the public, brought to life by Managing Director Tansari Francis Yeo. When we have a concert, I want to let the people know that I want to thank our Lord Jesus for these blessings. And of course to thank them for welcoming our investments, the government of Singapore, the, the people of Singapore for welcoming YTL's investments. Singapore is an ever-blossoming world of art, culture and business. It's one of the only countries in the world where you can experience an array of different cultures in just one day. From the vibrant streets of Little India to the hustle and bustle of nightlife in Chinatown. In Singapore, it's not just the Raffles Hotel and the Singapore Flyer that attracts the crowds. It's the eclectic mix of age-old tradition and modern mayhem. True to its historical roots, it remains a trading post for not only commercial goods, but cultural influences too a cosmopolitan gateway between East and West. There is one company that pushed this gateway wide open and boosted the nation's economy in a time of need, whilst making a conscious effort to sustain an environmentally friendly work ethic. YTL is the company in question, and as a way of thanking God and the people of Singapore, they are holding a Thanksgiving concert at the Singapore Botanic Gardens. YTL is a company pushing the green agenda and promoting sustainability. And it is this green attitude that so aptly links itself to the venue of this year's Concert of Celebration. What we have in these gardens is, which is a perfect setting, a perfect green setting of uh, Mother Nature, uh, exemplified by our magnificent plant and landscape displays, and uh, linking that to the creativity and ingenuity of man which we see as a part and parcel of the whole uh, creation in this beautiful planet. Um, it is also in line with our mission where we connect people and plants and also in line with missions of many of the corporations that we see like in YTL where you know, they, they strive for perfection, strive for fantastic service and beauty and uh, sustainability. The harmony of nature and mankind is a delicate balance that is all too easily lost in our world today. But by bringing the two together for an evening of celebration and gratitude, 
guests may be leaving with their own inspirational stories to tell. Here we are all talking about the language of plants and the music of plants and this, uh, and this music by, uh, by all these uh, outstanding stars uh, is a perfect match and a perfect complement to one another. Just hours before the concert is due to begin, Tansari Francis Yeo arrives on site for the final inspection, making sure everything lives up to his exacting standards. I hope you don't regret we are here. <laughs> no, we are finally here. Fantastic setup. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for allowing us to be a bit flexible. Are people are excited. It's the right place to be. It's the right place to be. Over 62,000 local people balloted for tickets. And with a total guest list of 7,500, ranging from VIPs to the general public, Tansari Francis Yeo wants to make sure every person will have a unique experience. Well, uh, I, I think the detail is very important that the last man sees this concert and enjoy it. So I went up there to the last, the highest seat, uh, furthest away from the stage. And you can see Baldev has done a marvellous job. From up there, you can see a different lighting effect on the lake, which at this level you cannot see. So that's the kind of detail that uh, everyone goes back with a different experience, but it's very rich. This concert of celebration is a major undertaking and has taken over a year to organise. Bringing in a star of Bocelli's stature takes a full crew with massive inspiration. Tansari Francis Yeo has mobilised everyone, including close members of the family, to help out. This is my father. Now you know where my good looks come from. <laughs> from your mother. This is a perfect place to do less is more because there's so much already here that's given by God. So all we did is put a very simple setting, put the chairs in and let nature take over and enhance nature with the lighting. And that's what it's all about, sticking to nature. All we need is the Lord's fingerprint again, angels here, and then the music and the singing. Along with Pacelli come three support acts. We catch up with them just before the show. First of all, I think Francis, he gave uh, to, to the free people, I mean, free concert, a great opportunity to hear uh, Andrea Bocelli in the music that uh, is, uh, nobody else does. <laughs> Obviously, because I'm a guest on Andrea's shows, I, I want to make sure I do my part because with him doing his hour and a half show, you just want to make sure that I want to make sure he's happy first and then make sure that, you know, then I, that I'm relaxed and I can, I can do the best job what they what they asked me to do and that's for sing sing how I sing. I think this beautiful atmosphere might contribute to concert to be even more more beautiful, even more heart touching. I would say Be music and then these uh, surroundings. It's just perfect match. As the concert draws near, a sense of anticipation fills the air. The gardens are buzzing with the arrival of excited guests as they prepare themselves for a magical evening. I'm really looking forward to it because Andrea Bocelli is like an international star. Oh, I've been very excited about it. Um, I haven't, I've never seen him live, so yeah. She has all his albums. I have yeah. every album, so yeah. yeah. I haven't seen Bocelli live in concert, mm -hmm. so I only know him from TV. Okay, so this is your first time. Looking forward to see him on stage. As the audience take their seats and the orchestra takes to the stage, the wait is finally over. My name is Beatrice Chair Richmond. I'll be your host for this evening. Now we'd like to thank all of you for being here with us on what we know is going to be an extraordinary evening here at the beautiful Singapore Botanic Gardens. Now this concert would not have been possible without YTL Corporation. So please help me in welcoming on stage the Managing Director of YTL Corporation, Tan Shri Dr. Francis Yeo, to share with us on the significance of this concert. The renowned Oxford University philosopher and novelist C.S. Lewis observed that all enjoyment spontaneously overflows into praise. The more value we place on an object, the more praise we would accord it. Therefore, the Lord should be the center of our praise as He is our most valuable. For this reason, this evening, instead of praising our own achievements, 
You give our Lord Jesus Christ all glory, honor, and praise. All goodness, all goodness comes from the Lord, and He's a primary reason for this YDL concert of celebration. As beneficiaries of this important legacy, including the wonderful hospitality and goodwill of the people of Singapore, YTL honors you with beautiful songs and music from my dear friend Andrea Bocelli and other renowned artists which we have invited. Of course, we especially thank Maestro Bocelli for agreeing to perform for all of us tonight. Thank you, Andrea. Andrea, you're not only my true friend, but you're also a true friend of Singapore. And now, with the thank you said and the speeches delivered, it's time for our journey with YTL to continue and the singing to begin. This concert of celebration is not the first of its kind. In 1994, YTL staged their first public concert and in 2003 went on to see the three tenors, Jose Carreras, Placido Domingo and the late Luciano Pavarotti perform against the backdrop of World Heritage City, Bath. A strong believer that the arts exert a powerful unifying force among the people, it's no wonder that they have continued to stage operatic concerts to give thanks to the public. Since early 90s, we have been getting uh, operatic kind of a genre to be a way to give to the public uh, some, some returns to, to tell them the message. We want uh, to share with you this concert because we want to thank God and also thank you for supporting us. That was the early the, the genesis of this concert of celebration. And it was to thank God for this growth, explosive growth of the company. And up to today, the company is still growing exponentially, so we've got to keep thanking him.
It was not just Bocelli's voice that led him to perform at this concert of celebration. It was a helping hand from fate, a valuable friendship, and a promise well kept. This year we've brought Andrea Bocelli, my friend. And I'll tell you a funny story because Andrea Bocelli has been my friend for a while. In 1995, I wanted him to sing in a 40th anniversary of YTL. And at that time, he only charged 10,000 US. Uh, I, don't, I won't tell you how much he charges today. <laughs> but at that time, and he agreed to sing for me. He's always kept his word. I'll sing for you in any occasion that you think it's important. And uh, as God would arrange it, and there happened to be, happened to be around <laughs> at this time in the region. And to make a detour like that for me, just for me, was awesome. And, and that's. That's great, friends. That, that's wonderful. This guy sings like an angel. And I heard him singing uh, Martinata in the Pavarotti and Friends. And uh, wow, you know, I've never heard Martinata executed in that way, a, a voice like an angel singing that, that, that famous piece. And I said, I got to have him singing for us. He's, he's, he's also a very God-fearing man. He, he writes philosophically about God and he sings also. And that, that also we have a tapestry of faith connected. So in that way, he understands why I do this as well. And for him, it's just as important that he shares with me this faith that we both have.
tierra soñada por mí. Mi cantar se vuelve gitano cuando es para ti. Mi cantar. concert is not just about thanking the people of Singapore and celebrating YTL's success there. It is also about praising God, as it is due to his blessings that Tansuri Francis Yeo believes his company is where it is today. Good morning, Tansuri. Good morning, Richard. How's everything? Well, I actually believe in Christ since I was 16. I was the first generation after 30 generations to believe in, in Christ. And I thought to build a company long term. You need the blessing of our Lord Jesus. I explained to my parents, please let me have my faith. When you're united in faith, uh, then you understand this stewardship concept. Nothing belongs to you personally. You are a steward of God's wealth. So in that way, we were united in our vision to build this company with God. And that's how this company has miraculously uh, moved by leaps and bounds uh, in many ways, in any measure. I was beginning to see the exponential growth of the company already. 86, 87, 88, despite crises, we were growing. We were so sheltered and protected uh, uh, by God, you know, so we were on His wings at times, flying. I love to take all the credit and say I was the best CEO ever. 
But uh, I have to tell the truth. I have to give God all the glory because that's the truth. a mutual bond within the region. YTL's investments in Singapore have helped shape the economic standing of the area and offer employment opportunities for its people, who in turn have provided a passionate workforce and a heartfelt acceptance of the company.
the stewardship of a uh, few assets that we have here. First, uh, the Santosa properties and also Orchard Boulevard, the Westwood apartments that we bought, prime assets that we are given stewardship of. And then uh, Prime Reed, the Star Hill Global Prime Reed, which was owned by Macquarie. Now we've, we, we have stewardship of that now. And Power Saraya. These are three great assets that we have stewardship now in Singapore. To get this far has taken hard work, determination, and an overall vision to lift the company to new heights. I like vision because uh, without a vision, a nation perish. So yes, vision is very important. And my parents uh, were already working very, very hard uh, in the company. They were third generation builder already. I was very determined that I'm not going to be the generation that ends uh, the hard work of, of, of my grandparents and my parents. I, I'm going to build it and hope that it sustains uh, or built with an economic model blessed by God that it will sustain for many, many, many years to come. And that was my hope and my vision. Lead us to a place. Guide us with your grace. Give us peace. Chancery Francis Yeo's hope was reinforced by a deep sense of social responsibility and the company has made it a priority to give something back to the community and not through music alone. Power Soraya are a power plant with a difference. They run initiatives to promote sustainability and encourage green thinking. Their own way to give something back to the community that will benefit future generations to come. In Power Soraya, the, we always uh, believe in uh, doing things in a sustainable way. We have spent about $170,000 uh, invested in Greenwich Secondary School. What we are creating is a learning hub for students in that school to learn more about where energy is coming from, how do we produce electricity, how we can use electricity, and how can electricity be, be used on a global scale in a more sustainable way. As creators of the first energy-focused learning centre, Power Soraya have reached out to thousands of students and education staff to promote environmental awareness and inspire energy conservation throughout the wider community. It's basically for us, so in the future we are the ones that actually like 
helps conserve the environment, put all their ideas into action. So maybe we can teach our young, uh, the generations after us on how to conserve the environment. It has taught me so much about the environment and how global warming has actually affected our, um, our world and then uh, what we should have done to, to actually help. Personally, in my own home, yes, I can make a difference by at least like um, practicing um, energy conservation in my own life. They are beginning to be the ambassadors reaching out to the heartlands, to the household in that area to spread the message of efficient use of energy. The word Saraya means a soldier of God. Isn't that fascinating? So uh, you see, God's fingerprint is everywhere. So we, we definitely, when we have a concert, I want to let the people know that I want to thank our Lord Jesus and to tell them that we are here to stay and the sense of the long term and we will invest with them and hope that we participate in this uh, growth of this beautiful nation. In its early years, YTL brought light to the darker corners of Asia, and during the Asian financial crisis in 1997, they helped drive income back into the area. I think Wisma Atria being in the heart of Orchard Road in Singapore, you can say all kinds of people come into Wisma Atria. We have a very high percentage of local population. A lot of tourists do visit, so I would say all kinds of people all over the world as well as within Singapore. I think what YTL has done is to, or, and will do more of, is to change not only the investment landscape in Singapore, it changes the whole retail landscape as well. What we're doing with Bocelli is not on a pure commercial basis. We actually ballot and give away the tickets. And what this has allowed us to do is um, give back to the community from our, on, on, our, on our part. To have three precious assets in our stewardship in Singapore is a miracle. It's been um, a few months to a year since we owned these assets and I thought it's about time we thank God and the people. I could not postpone it any further. Sì, lo 
so che sei con me, con me, tu mia luna, tu sei qui con me, mio sole, tu sei qui con me, con me.
With the concert over, there's still an evening of celebration to be had. The artists attend an after-show dinner party to relax and mingle with the guests. And it seems the feeling of love and appreciation is a mutual one felt by all. I was very happy because the audience was very, very warm with me. I felt all, uh, all his affection, uh, the, the audience's affection. And uh, it's the second time that I, I am here in Singapore. And I hope to come back as soon as possible in holiday. <laughs> This was just about, uh, about uh, your friend next to you. He was telling me how, how you met and how you promised to come back on an important occasion. He is a genius. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I like him because he's a genius. <laughs> and the genius is always very, very interesting in the life. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. The was the energy was incredible tonight. We felt it from the beginning. I mean, also the thunderstorm before it made, made us uh, really worry, but after we were, we were very relaxed and the, the feedback from the public was incredible. The audience and ambient and everything fit it just perfectly, so I think we managed to put together a beautiful concert. Oh, I'm sad that the tour is over and I'm sad that this, this show is over because we could have sung all night. I, I think we all would have been happy to just continue singing all night with the fireworks and the crowd and the lights and being in the gardens and the atmosphere. It was just magic, so I wish we could do it every night of the year. <laughs> to hear an angel sing in Singapore. That was such a beautiful performance. I think yeah, Francis, uh, the YTL group, did a marvelous job arranging the whole show, up, up down to the weather and the fireworks. As a token of thanks, the Singapore Botanic Gardens present Maestro Andrea Bocelli with an orchid named after him. Mr. Bocelli, in appreciation for the wonderful, extraordinary performance tonight and the great music you have brought to the world, the Singapore Botanic Gardens is happy to present to you this orchid. A perfect gift for a beautiful performance. YTL also had an orchid named after them, which was gratefully received by Tansuri Yo Tiong Lei, executive chairman of YTL, and his son, Tansuri Francis Yeo, managing director. I think the best celebration for YTL. Great. Viva YTL! <laughs> Honestly, at some stage, I thought I had died and gone to heaven. I came here, I didn't know what to expect, but, uh, but uh, I mean, it was it's really great, it's a great show. It's really a wonderful and fantastic concert. Mm -hmm. It was simply great. Yeah. Oh yes, it's really fantastic. I enjoyed the night very much. The following day, we catch up with Tansuri Francis Yeo to see if the evening met his expectations. But this last night was awesome. I felt after the um, three tennis concert in Bath, it's very hard to beat another, what do you call, um, heaven on earth moment. Last night it happened again. For the first time in my life, in all these concerts that I've organized, I wanted to feel what an audience feels like. I completely abdicated, not delegated, everything to the team, great A team. And I, I, I think last night was truly such an awesome night that I felt the power of God, I felt uh, people's love. Everybody came to hug me and thank me. Um, this day, the key word they say was magical. There was some fantastic, magical, uh, extraordinary, powerful. And I felt that all of last night. Ho provato spesso un incontenibile desiderio di dare una nuova definizione di musica, di dire almeno qualcosa di diverso, di mio, su questa nobile arte a cui debbo un'infinità di ore felici. La musica è per me un bisogno, 
come quello dell'amore ed è anche e soprattutto il mio destino un destino che ho sempre sognato di dividere con voi ed ora il sogno è divenuto realtà grazie di essere qui Andrea Bocelli